Good day. My name is George and here with me is Moses. Hello. Who has been with me for the past 40 years in the meat cutting industry. The purpose of this DVD is to show and demonstrate to you the necessary functions and operations of our products and also to convey to you uh, some of our necessary and handy tips that you may need. I would like to introduce to you our product range. We manufacture three types of band saws. The meat o -Matic, Springbok S234 and the Meat Pride Deluxe 2875. We also manufacture the Mumps number 22 Mincer and the Meat Pride number 32 Mincer, both electrical. Other products in the range is a 1 kilogram sausage maker, a turntype bulldog slicer, a bulldog slicer that fits onto either the Springbok or the Meatomatic machine, and a motorized bulldog slicer fitted with either a 37 kilowatt motor, a 55 kilowatt motor, or a 75 kilowatt motor. Consumers always want to know the difference between the Meatomatic and the Springbok band saw. Both these machines are fitted with a 75 kilowatt motor and runs at a speed of 1,400 revs per minute. Both these machines can be used to cut meat, do mincing and to fill the sausage skin. Although the Meatomatic being on the far side is a bit difficult for the lesser experienced consumer. Difference on the machines being the following. The Meatomatic has got a cutting height of 370 cm and a cutting width of 230 cm. It's fitted with a blade size of 1980 mm. It's also fitted with a number 10 mincer and it's a malleable casting mincer and it's fitted on one mount point only. Then it's also fitted with a sliding control which runs steel on steel. In comparison with that, the Springbok has got a cutting height of 465 cm and a cutting width of 280 cm. It's also fitted with a blade size of 2340 mm. Fitted with a number 22 malleable casting mincer and it's fitted with two mount points. The right hand side being the far side and the left hand side being on the slow side. It's also fitted with a sliding control which runs on nylon wheels. Moses will now demonstrate how to change a blade on the Springbok bandsaw. The method is the same for the Meatomatic. The method is also the same for the Meat Pride, except for the removal of the stainless steel working top. Now to remove a stainless steel top by means of taking off the thickness adjuster first, then unscrewing the thumb screws. and now taking off the stainless steel top. That's part number one, which we call the front part, and that is the rear part. Next, we're gonna take off the top pulley cover by means of unscrewing the two thumb screws at the back of the neck. Next step is to release the tension on, on the blade by means of turning the tension knob in an anti-clockwise. The blade can now be removed. To replace the blade, you need to repeat the whole process in reverse mode. Moses is now going to put the blade back and make sure that the teeth always face downwards. You will 
now turn the tension knob in a clockwise position. And he will do that until the two M8 lock nuts touch underneath the top pulley carry plate. By doing that, this will ensure that the factory setting is restored. Never change the setting on the M8 lock nuts. You will now replace the stainless steel working top, starting with the rear portion first. Then the front one. And then you will tighten it with the thumb screws. You will now replace the thickness adjuster. And now you will replace the top pulley cover by securing it with a thumb screw. Now the saw is ready for use again. Now how to cut meat. Adjust the thickness adjuster to your preferred thickness requirement. Now take the front part of the working top off and replace it with this sliding control. Always remember to put your stopper in place thus preventing the sliding control pushing it either from the front or off the back. Now feed the meat and the bone through the blade and always allow the blade to do the work. If you force the meat through the blade you will damage either the blade guide or most probably push the blade off the pulley. Thank you Moses. the mincer to the machine and to mince meat. Always remove the blade as demonstrated before, before attaching the mincer. Remove the mincer ring, worm, knife and plate from the casing. Now attach the mincer casing to the mincer mount point. by aligning it with the studs and secure it with the two M8 nuts. Always use a M13 spanner to do the securing of the M8 nuts. Before replacing the worm, make sure that the washers is in place. Thus securing no damage to the mincer worm or the casing. Now replace the mincer worm and the knife and the mincer plate. Replace the mincer ring loosely. Do not tighten it completely. Switch on the machine. It will make a noise. Tighten the mincer ring until the noise subsides. You are now ready to mince your meat by feeding the meat into the mincer's mouth. Be careful not to feed bones or other hard objects into the mincer 
as it can damage the mincer. Please keep your hands away from moving parts. Thank you Moses. Finished mincing, loosen the min mincer ring while the motor is still running. Once the tension is released on the ring, switch the motor off before taking off the ring completely. Disassemble the rest of the mincer and then clean it thoroughly with soap and warm water and use a bit of cooking oil or fat to prevent it from rusting. If the above method is applied, you will easily loosen the ring by hand. Never try loosening the ring by using a hammer or a chisel. You will only damage the ring and the casing by means of doing that. And that may cause you to forfeit your guarantee on the product. How to do sausage filling. Remember to remove the blade off the bandsaw as demonstrated earlier when using the mincer. There are two methods you can use. Mince and do sausage filling at the same time. Cut meat and fat in smaller pieces with a knife. Add seasoning to taste and mix well with the meat and fat combination. Leave overnight in the fridge. When meat is colder, sausage filling is easier. Attach the mincer with the sausage filler to the left hand slow side mincer mount point as demonstrated earlier. Pull the sausage skin over the sausage filler, switch on the machine and feed the meat mix into the mincer. You are now mincing and doing sausage filling at the same time. Alternatively, you could also do sausage filling by using already minced meat. Now you remove the mincer plate number six and you also remove the mincer knife. Don't replace the mincer knife again. The mincer plate number six is now replaced with a kidney shaped mincer plate and that is to help you to do a proper filling. And don'ts. Always clean your machine and mincer after usage. Blood has a lot of acid in and if not properly clean it can rust after a while. Store your machine in a dry cool environment. When you work on a machine either changing a blade or cleaning it or working for any other reason make sure that the, the plaque is removed from the wall socket. Please keep children away when you use your machine. If you encounter any problems, I trust that this video will help you to solve it. Thank you.